hello guys and welcome back to my channel we are uh, continuing with uh, the journal and uh, this will be part three so uh, while we have been uh, working one by one we have uh, got this i took a piece of eco dyed linen and put that behind the pocket we made and then i have sewn it by hand and i thought that uh, takes so much time so i don't want to keep you with that when you just uh, see me so straight stitches so that is uh, right through and this one i have sewn on machine and uh, i haven't decided yet if i can do some maybe do some stitching around this too but I want to continue so that you have something to do all the time and don't have to wait for me. So today I thought we could continue with the um, other side that we are going to use um, the bark that we uh, embroidered uh, last time and our little decoration with uh, the fly, dragonfly that we did. So, um, I thought we could flip this and just uh, see. So, we have our piece in the middle, like that. So uh, we can see where this will go, if we do like this. So um, this will be the background and then we will have this one down here. But then I want to have some um, rougher pieces, maybe some uh, I find found these uh, pieces of linen that I uh, thought could go somewhere kind of as a decoration. Or maybe something like this. Then it will go with the other piece on uh, that uh, I put behind the embroidery. So that may be better. These are also cute. And a bit lighter so they won't be so heavy as uh, this uh, old French linen. This is a uh, 100 year old French linen that I have got in, in France. So I have this as a tablecloth. And then I eco dyed a little piece so they are heavy. I put this aside a little while and then let's see if we can do something fun with these pieces. Just so that uh, something is happening somewhere. I don't want to cover this one up and I don't want to cover that one up. So maybe kind of there and one piece in this corner. Can actually just cut it and do it a bit smaller so that we get some more textile. That could be. There we go. That's Nico. He has um, heard the ice cream truck outside and uh, he has this <laughs> this horrible sound <laughs> that gets Nico to howl. It's 
the only thing that uh, get Nico to howl. It's uh, the Chris, uh, the ice cream truck. <laughs> I have never ever heard him howl until uh, the ice cream uh, truck uh, start to drive in this uh, neighborhood. Sorry about that. I think it will uh, be one more time when it uh, gets in to the driveway near my house. So uh, please try to not uh, think about that. <laughs> I uh, would like to have something down in this corner and I'm thinking uh, maybe a piece of old lace. I'm trying to find something in my little basket here. No, I like this one. It's a bit more rough. And I want it this way. a little bit more glue on that. I don't want it to roll too much. That's nice. I'm thinking something more. Should we maybe put um, this little decoration somewhere? I actually would have liked it there. Okay, let's put it there rethink and redo and make it happen. That will go nicely with the dragonfly and I can just cut a little piece here and ruffle up the paper and uh, the textile a bit. Yes, like that. With 
a little rusty paper clip on it. I did uh, these in another tutorial if you want to see how I made these uh, cute small clusters. And then we have this embroidered, uh, no, crochet piece that uh, goes with the color of the dragonfly. That's nice. Should we uh, think that this is done? I would have liked a little, little piece of wood, uh, some uh, piece of dried uh, wood put to put here, but maybe something that we can take off. So I'm thinking uh, paper clip maybe. But we can do that later, so uh, let's put it in place and see how it looks. There. Go and bend this back so we can see how the page looks. will be good I think so let's be wild and crazy and put it in place it's still uh, not uh, attached to uh, the uh, cardboard so if we want to do any more decoration on this and maybe sew on it or something we can do that but sometimes it uh, needs to uh, sit on it a bit and uh, ponder what we are going to do next and then suddenly you got all these idea and everything is falling in place so that's why I'm not sewing every or put everything onto the cardboard before I have decided what to do. Gluing it neatly on the edges so um, we are sure that we won't get stuck and rip it when we do the flips on the book. As we put it on textile, it will soak up a lot of glue. So make sure you put in uh, enough. Go with your finger and feel that uh, it's really stuck. can see this is easy to take your finger and fold it up and if you do that it can rip so uh, it's better you use too much glue than too little it uh, will uh, dry without uh, it will be transparent so you won't see it anyway to hold on this barge beat for a little bit for a little while for a little bit while 
I haven't spoken English in a few days, so now I'm blending with Swedish. Hold it på plats en liten stund so att det inte lossnar. Hold it in place for a little while so it won't rip. And here we also need to put some extra glue. See this will fold up. I think we will do like this. Keep that in place for a little while. Okay, let's leave this for a while now and uh, move over to the other one. And uh, then we can. Uh, Think about this one more time before we glue it onto the cardboard. So I will just move this and take the other part of the cover so that we can work on that instead. I have uh, got the other flip piece that we are going to uh, use in the journal. And uh, this was the textile I was uh, thinking about using. And now I found these uh, silk pieces that I also have eco dyed. And uh, I'm just kind of in love with these. So then I thought, should we have that instead? Or should we go with this that will go nicely with the, the leather cover? Maybe this will be too much. Or not. <laughs> no, let's go with that we, we said from the start. No changing. Now we have uh, decided that we are using this one. And then I need to decide which way we should have it. This way. So then it will be like this. something more to put things in and uh, at the same time uh, decorative but not so bulky and these are going I have to think on top of uh, the other one the small one is uh, Then we need to decide which one that will flip that way and which will flip that way. Now it's the time to decide that. And then we need to check the one we already have done. As this one has the decorative side with the flip like that. We need to have this one with the decorative side like that, as this will be flipping that way. So this will be go on top of this. Then we sort that out. But that's a, you have to sew this, so you have to 
decide uh, which way they are going to flip. You can also put them flipping the same way. So you do all the sewing. So you put this one up and this one up. So that's uh, the choice you can uh, just do. As I did on uh, the one that I showed you, I have the flip on the same uh, side. And uh, that's an optional thing. You can just uh, decide how you want it to do, how you want to do it. I can show it to you one more time so that you remember how it looked. So this was, as you can see, we have the both the flips sewn onto the same side before you get to the wheel cover. So that's an optional. If you want to do it that way, it's up to you. But uh, this time I want to do one this way and one flipping the other way. So that we can try to do that way this time. Let's do as we did with the other one. Uh, cut it to size in uh, this uh, side so we can uh, easily see where we want to put our decorations later. So I'm just taking my pen and draw a line. Let's check so you can see that. Then I'm just flipping this over like that and do the same thing. Like so. And now we can cut this and just leave a little bit of hang hang over so that we can see a little better how we want to place our decorations. Now you can see it's a little uh, not straight on this part, so I'm just going to straighten this edge a little bit. Linen it is a bit tough. It's the uh, it's. Um, possible to move it a bit like this so sometime when you think it's straight and you put it in place uh, it won't be straight anyway so we have to uh, do that perfectly when uh, when we put it in place so this uh, side will be the one with a pocket on and I have uh, found a piece of lace that I want to have hanging down kind of uh, by the end of the textile but I think that will be on the front page that we can see all the time so 
I'm leaving that for now. And uh, let's move over to something else. Now I'm just uh, taking some of my things and thinking. I have some blue and I have some rough linen and some other textiles and I have some of these collages that was also fun should we maybe take the other one so that we can see the colors I just fell in love with this piece of velvet think I want this velvet <laughs> goes so nicely with those and uh, so when you flip this up you will have these pages against each other and goes totally perfect with that one so let's go for that But I want to put these on uh, something uh, so we can have it uh, straight. So I want to glue it on top of a piece of um, cardboard or paper of some sort. So I will just find that. So I'm just taking a piece of a paper bag and I cut it to the size I want the the uh, pocket to have you can see I'm making it a little bit uh, inside of the edges so I'm just gluing this together And as I want to have this on the uh, for the inside, I'm uh, taking the plain page where we are going to put stuff, so it won't get stuck if this one in is on the inside. So decorate this page where you have the extra paper that can uh, be a bit of a problem when you put in things. So I'm thinking if I should have this edge or take it away. I think it could be nice with a piece of a heavy. I think we can straighten this out anyway and get it to fit so. I'm going to use both the glue stick and uh, the other one because the glue stick may get uh, stick right away. And then we using the book binding glue to make sure that it stays in place. You can sew this if you want or just uh, glue it. It's uh, up to you. making sure that this is covering the edge properly and then I will straighten the textile so we won't have any bubbles or creases
think this has probably been on a skirt, so it was a little uh, wavy. Should we have something that hangs down from this? Kind of like that. Or maybe just some plain lace. Don't want it to be too much. Maybe a plain lace and some other decoration instead. I really love this old paper lace. This is so nice. But then we of course need something more. I will uh, take a few uh, different things and uh, then we can uh, try what uh, is the best thing to do. I have taken a few more things uh, from my stash and I think I want to make a ruffle with this uh, silk piece that is uh, eco dyed. Really love that. And if we take that on the one of the edges and ruffle it up, it will be nice. Maybe do some stitching, stitching in it. Try to squeeze it and get it in a nice shape. that then we maybe can should we sew in that in into the ruffle maybe I have this uh, little flower that I have made from different uh, textiles and burned so that the edges has crumbled but I think that will be too big for the inside so I'm leaving that for now. This is a really old one and then I have this one but I think that would be too much and then I have this. Hello Nico are you here and, and talking to the ladies? I heard you have been howling, howling to the ice cream truck. He's starting to get tired now. It's uh, nine o'clock in the evening here in Sweden. And that's his uh, napping time or uh, sleeping time. Maybe is the right word. And now I have threads and glue all over my fingers again. I think I will use this one. It's 
for always beautiful with this kind of laces then we can just leave it peeking down a little bit under under the edge of the pocket Flowers isn't my thing. Yes, I can hear you, my friend. I'm soon done with this. We are going to do this pocket and maybe put it in place. Then we are done for tonight. Try to put this in to the creases. Kind of try to make it float down. And I can do some stitches onto it. side so we can take our cardboard and see how this looks So I can see that we are kind of in the middle. I think that will be nice, but I want something more here. So um, I think I just want to do some stitching uh, so this will stay down. Did I have one? Oh yes, I have one with a blue thread. See? Perfect. We don't need so much. So we are just going to do some stitches to keep it in place. Just taking it up somewhere there.
one more will be enough. Ow! Not in the finger, please. Of course, a little bit of blood sipping out. Blood loss. to ruffle that a little bit more and maybe this one too just because it's a little bit nicer with more ruffle just tying this off with a knot. So we need to make a cluster. So I have taken some cheesecloth and a piece of old book paper and a piece of that uh, old paper lace that I have. So I think it's going to be kind of that way. cheesecloth and old book paper. This is kind of very fragile but I love it so I think it will work when it's uh, cheesecloth under it so it will, will uh, keep shape, keep its shape. lace then I took uh, this uh, textile that I have with a lot of turquoise butterfly I have this as a curtain in my um, trailer and uh, this was on a pillowcase I used to have but now I have bigger pillows so I could cut it so cut out this little butterfly I think that will go nicely on top of the page That, and then we put that down here somewhere. I think I will sew around this later on. And as I had to cut off these Two uh, things that he has on his head. I don't uh, realize what they, how what they are nam named at the moment. So I just do like that. Uh, 
and then we can put this under it like that. I will sew this uh, too and uh, then I will uh, get back to you and uh, show how it uh, looks. We have our pocket in place. Nicely put down by the butterfly. So uh, one side is done. So uh, I think we will stop there tonight and uh, give you some time to work with this part of uh, the journal. And uh, then I will be back probably already tomorrow with uh, the next step and the other side of this one. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions please uh, uh, write them down in the description box or send me an email and I will try to answer as uh, good as possible. So thank you for watching and uh, bye bye from Sweden.